So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a CTF with the help of a burp suit. So as you can see, I have opened a CTF which I have hosted onto my website. Okay, this CTF I have taken from a Pico CTF. Okay, so as you can see, show your skills and get the flag. Let me just zoom this. Uh, show your skills and get the flag. Admin is guarding the flag behind the wall. Remember, only admin has the rights to pass through the wall. Bribe him with something sweet and get the flag. Perfect. So go here. Let's go over here and let's see what do we have to do over there. Uh, when we reach over here, we will be able to see that you can see my new website. There is something called as username and something called as password. So let's go back to the CDF and we can read here. Admin is guarding the flag behind the wall. Remember, only admin has the right to pass through the walls. So I think by this hint, the username should be admin and the password should be something. Let's say we type admin and try to sign in. Okay. So as you can see, I'm sorry, admin password is super secure. You're not getting in that way. So it did not work. So let us just try something random. So let's say I type it Rohit and I type here anything and I try again with sign in. Okay. So you saw I got logged in, but not sure you'll be able to see the flag. So I'm not able to see the flag. I am logged in, but I'm not able to see the flag. Let's uh, do it once more. So let me type here anything and let's not type the password this time and let's try to hit the sign in. Okay. So you can see basically the functionality is you will get logged in anyhow if you don't give the password even. So this is not the correct direction that I'm going into. So what do we have to do now? So let's do one thing. Let's again go click on sign out and let's see if we see something into the page source. So in the page source also, I do not see anything that is sensitive or that can be helpful for me to solve this particular CDF. So I will just close this. Okay, so let's try to use burp suit this time. Okay, this particular CTF can be done without burp suit as well as with burp suit. It is more comparatively easy solving with burp suit first. So let's see how can we solve it using burp suit. So let me just type here again uh, admin and in the password, let me again type admin. Let me just start burp. I have already configured burp. I will just go in intercept and I will turn it on because I want to capture the request in burp suit. Let me just click on sign in. I don't want to save this password. Go back in burp suit and you can see the request is being captured in burp wherein I can see the body where the username is admin and the password is admin. So let me just send this to repeater first because I'm going to utilize it later on. Repeater is a tab wherein you can send request and you can utilize them later on. Okay. So it is something like you can keep them here for backup. So again, you don't have to send all the requests to the burp suit from the browser again and again. Okay, cool. So let, let us see what does the response do we get uh, when we pass this particular request that is admin admin. So I want to see the response. So I will just click on action. Do intercept response to this request, which means I want to see the response for this specific request for login when these credentials are passing. So let me just go to do intercept and response. Okay. So I will just forward this. You can see this auth.grammarly.com. This is uh, actually an invalid request, which is coming because of this particular extension, which is added. So I'm going to discard it by just uh, clicking on drop or I can just forward it. So let me just forward it. Again, Grammarly docs.google. I'll just skip this. Yeah. So this is something which I wanted to see and you can see over here, the response have been come and this is the response, which I can see onto my burp window when, wherein I can see, I'm sorry, the admin password is super secure. This is something what I'm getting over here. So let me just forward this, turn this off, go back here and you can see the same message that I got into the response. Okay. So now what should we do? Uh, let's try one more time. So let's type it Rohit and this time let's type the password as Rohit as well. Let's go back in burp. Let's do the same process. I don't want to save the password. Let's go in burp. 
and you can see Rohit and Rohit, the username and password. Again, let's click on action, do intercept response to this request. Uh, let's forward this particular request. This is again a relevant request which is going because of some service that is running in the background. I will just forward this, forward, perfect. Now this is the response which you can see that I have got from the request that we send it for username and password. All right. Something that you should notice over here is in the cookies, okay? Because in the question it says bribe him with something sweet and get the flag. So uh, what, is, what, what is sweet? In terms of browsers request response, something sweet is cookies, okay? So I saw something over here which took my attention which says admin equals to false. So what if I modify this and make it to true, okay? And forward this. So let's see what happens. Yep, perfectly fine. Can you see we have got our flag successfully. So what is the lesson learned into this particular video? So developers make authentication based on cookies as well. So once you modify the cookie, you may get higher privileges. These types of attacks are also prominent in web application attacks wherein you can do authentication bypass as well as sometimes you can do privilege escalation by getting the higher privileges or rights from a user level access to the admin level access all right so this was one of the way of solving this particular cdf from bob suit the second easier way would be seeing the cookies Okay, so you need to install a cookie editor type of extension, which I have installed over here, as you can see. So there are no cookies right now. So let me just go back and let me just reload this first. Okay, so after reloading, I can use this one. Okay, so after reloading, let me just uh, log in. So after I have logged in, you can see, yep, I have got cookies over here. So you can see admin false, password, the password that we gave, uh, username is Rohit. Uh, the password we did not give actually, that's why the value is blank. We do not care about that. Because anyways, we are logged in into the application. So here you can see the value is false. Let us modify this to true. Save this particular cookie. After saving this particular cookie, let us try to reload this particular browser and I think it should do the trick for us. Yeah, perfectly all right. We have got the flank. So this was the manual way of doing it without the burp suit. So I hope you guys understood the approach. Thank you.